While a lot of attention has been given to the recent completion of the San Joaquin River Viaduct, significant progress continues on projects that aren't as visible. On the east side of Road 27 Great Separation in Madera County, crews hauled dirt to the west side, approximately 150,000 cubic yards to date. Concrete was recently poured to form the back wall of the structure, and in the coming weeks, crews will be pouring more concrete to form an 1,800-foot barrier along the bridge. Major work is happening in downtown and Chinatown in Fresno. Crews have kicked off work at the Tulare Street and Ventura Street underpasses. Both underpasses will be more than 20 feet below grade and serve as grade separations, eliminating the current Union Pacific Railroad crossing. The South Avenue grade separation in South Fresno County is nearing completion, with crews paving the roadway and installing guardrail. When complete, the South Avenue grade separation will take traffic over the existing BNSF and future high-speed rail lines. South of South Avenue, crews conducted road work along the Fowler-Elkhorn Bypass in anticipation for a full road closure along Elkhorn Avenue. An Elkhorn Avenue between Clovis and Fowler Avenues in Fresno County will be closed for construction of an overcrossing through February 2023. At Davis Avenue, crews are working on the MSE coping, that's the mechanically stabilized earth coping, the portion of the retaining wall that hides the top edge of the facing panels. Next, crews will proceed with installing false work for the future overcrossing that will take traffic over the high-speed rail lines. In Fresno County, crews are working on the footings and columns on the east side of State Route 43 for the future Tide Arch Bridge. Iron workers are finishing up rebar, while carpenters are working on rebar spaces and dobles. Rebar spacers are used to reinforce rebar as it's assembled in place. Wire dobles are used to suspend rebar in freshly poured concrete. Concrete will be placed to form the abutments of the structure in the near future. At the Tule River Viaduct in Tulare County, traffic has been rerouted to allow crews to begin substructure work. That includes drilling and setting rebar cages for the 75 columns that will make up the more than 3,500 foot long structure. This viaduct will carry high-speed trains over the existing BNSF rail line, State Route 43, and the Tule River. On the west side of McCombs Road, crews are hauling embankment fill for the future overcrossing. Crews have also installed the MSE panels, that's the mechanically stabilized earth panels, and are now working on false work for the posts, stringers, and beams for the structure. At the Wasco Viaduct in Kern County, crews recently completed the first concrete pour on the box girder section at the north side of the viaduct. At the center of the viaduct, crews are working to bring the box section and pergola sections together. On the west side, crews are erecting false work that will connect both sides together. While on the east side, crews can be seen drilling and placing rebar cages for the last seven columns. High-speed rail crews continue to stay busy as the 119 miles of construction in the Central Valley moves closer to completion.